I've literally filmed this like five times. Filming is hard, okay? Filming is hard. My name is Lily and welcome back, to, or welcome to my channel. So, by the title and the thumbnail, um, you guys know I'm doing my October TBR. Don't know why I said it like that, but I did. Um, I've tr Like I said in the intro, I filmed this video like five times and it hasn't gone my way, so I'm hoping that this is the last time I have to film. Uh, last time I was going well, but then I forgot book, so... Whatever. But, um, October is my birthday month. I am turning, I am going to be an actual teenager in October. And I'm low-key very excited about it. <laughs> um, I'm very excited for October. Um, in October, since it is my birthday month, I will be taking a break. I'm not going to be doing a TBR game. I'm not going to have a set TBR. Um, I'm just going to be chillaxing, I guess. And reading whatever the hell I want to read. Um, but I do have a few books that I want to read, a few being 12. The probability of me reading all 12 is probably zero. But a girl can dream, right? Um, I really want to read all 12 of these books, and I'm hoping I can definitely get to them. There are a few I don't own, so I'm just going to go over those quickly, and yeah. The first one is Momentous Events in the Life of a Cactus. If I do not get to this one uh, in October, I will be getting to it in November for Believe It Thon. And that's the video will be up here because I want you all to go, go watch it and participate in Believe It Thon because it is the best rated thon in, in, in all of ever. Okay, moving on. But I really want to read this book. This is the sequel to Insignificant Events in Life of a Cactus, which I read in July or August and gave five stars. Absolutely adored it. It was so amazing. Um, and I really want to continue with these characters and see what the hell they get caught up in next because it's going to be one hell of a ride. I love these characters so much. So I definitely want to get to this one in October. The next one that I don't own is The Jumbies by Tracy Baptiste. This is my book club book for the month of October. Um, yeah. Uh, my last video should have been my fall TBR, which I'll link up here if you want to go watch it if you haven't. Um, from that video on, I linked The Jumbies instead of Hurricane Child because it basically is October. Um, so all my information for the October book, which is The Jumbies, will be down below along with the hosts. Um, and the Goodreads link for the book. But yeah, this is a spooky, fun middle grade, and I'm very excited to get to it. And hopefully that I can own it. We'll see. And I just really want to see read it and see what I think. So, I'm very excited. Speaking of book clubs, the next book I will be reading that I do not own is Ghost Squad. I do not know who it's by, but it'll be on the screen. This is Middle Grade Monthly's Book of the Month for October, and it's another spooky middle grade that I really just want to read. I'm so excited for it, um, and I think it will be amazing. I follow the author on Twitter, and I'm very excited to read it, because I really like them. But yeah, so, very excited to read Ghost Squad. Um, and the last book, I think, yeah, the last book I do not own is Mapping the Bones. I do not know who it's by, again. It will be on the screen. This is a Holocaust book. Now, if you've been following me for probably since the beginning, then you're ask you're probably asking, why are you reading uh, historical fiction? Um, you haven't read one since February. The answer is, I watch too many YouTube videos. I was watching a YouTube video. I will link them down below if I can find them. Called like Hitler Youth. A uh, former Hitler youth leader or something meets, like, former Auschwitz camper, I guess. That's not the title. But you get it. Um, I watched it. And then I watched um, this video called I Survived the Twin Experiments of Auschwitz. 
and I didn't know there were twin experiments going on then, and I, this book is about the twin experiments, and I really want to educate myself on that because I love, I like to know as much as I can about ter terrible history, <laughs> um, and this is terrible history, I like to know as much as I can, and I, I know quite a lot, I mean, I don't know that much, but I know enough to be like, this is sort of what happened. And I really want to know, educate myself on the twin experiment, so I'm very excited to read this. Um, I will be getting this out from my library. Hopefully, I want to place a hold on it soon so that I can get it out soon. Yeah. Now moving on to the books I own. And the first one is The Battle of the Labyrinth by Rick Riordan. If you do not know, I host a PJO along or Percy Jackson read along with Katie. Um, and in October, we'll be reading The Battle of the Labyrinth, and I'm very excited because I have not read this since the first time I read it, and I want to see why I loved it so much. Also, The Titans Curse Live Show will be on the 10th of October. It would be on the first weekend, but that's my birthday weekend, so I do not want to, um, you know, be doing a live show on my birthday weekend. And plus, we usually do it on Saturdays, and my birthday's on a Saturday, so... But yeah, on the 10th, it'll be on the 10th. But I'm very excited to read this. And just the Ghost King and Rachel. 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 I'm very excited to see Rachel. Even though I haven't read Titan's Curse yet and we meet her in Titan's Curse. But like, she's she's Rachel. And I don't remember how it gets to the point in the book that I remember her doing something. But I really want to know and remember because Rachel is a queen. I feel like no one talks about her, but she's a queen. Speaking of Greek mythology, the next book I want to read in October is Lovely War by Julie Berry. If you know anything about me, I am obsessed with Greek mythology, like literally obsessed. Blame Rick, okay? Blame Uncle Rick. But, um, I really want to read this very floppy. This is two love stories uh, from World War One, I, I believe, um, told from the uh, gods, told by the gods, and I know there's banter in it, and I'm very excited, and I'm pretty sure Apollo's in here, and I love him. Hades is in here. That's gonna get real bantery. That's not a word. Y'all get it, right? Okay. I'm very excited to read this and see what I think. Yeah, I think it's gonna be five stars, because it's already really good, and I'm only 50 pages in. The next one is kind of what sparked the experiment holocaust part of me again. This is historical fiction. I have a lot of historical fiction on this list. But this um, definitely did play a part in me um, wanting to read more about experiments because in this book, which is Wolf by Wolf by Ryan Grodin, the main character was an experiment um, in Auschwitz. I don't know if it was Auschwitz, but it, I think it was. I don't know. But in this book, we follow a girl whose name I can't pronounce because, God forbid, I pronounce anything in any book. But, um, and she was an experiment, and it's alternate history, like, what if Hitler won the war? Or Nazis won the war, whatever. Um, and so, there's this race every year, and she enters, a, and she wins, she's gonna kill Hitler. So... Very excited. And look at the sequel. She's wearing her mask. She's doing a good job. Wear a mask. There we go. I'm very excited to read this um, or continue it because I'm really loving it so far. And I know Haley from Haley and Bookland loves this book, so I'm very excited to see what all the fuss is about. I mean, I'm already loving it, but like, what all more the fuss is about? I don't know where I was going with that. The next historical fiction and the last one on this list is They Went Left by Monica Hesse. This is a, I believe it's set after this girl gets out of a concentration camp and she's going to try and find her brother, I believe. And I'm very excited. I know it's going to, like, break my soul. But I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready. Oh, I like the gold. That's really cute. But I'm ready. I'm ready to be destroyed emotionally. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited to read this. I've had this book for a few months now, and I'm just really, I really want to get into it. So this is definitely going to be one of my first reads of October. 
The next one. If I do not read this before 2021, y'all have to punish me, okay? I've been reading this since freaking April. April. That is Clockwork Angel by Cassandra Clare. Do you want to know why I haven't finished it? This book has such long chapters, and I'm just like, usually, cause, especially because I'm in a reading slump, that I don't want to read long chapters. I'm like, oh, I'm only going to read one chapter, and so I read a chapter, but if I read a chapter, I read 40 freaking pages or 20 pages, and I don't want to read 20 pages or 40 pages. It's really long chapters, all right? <laughs> but, um... Yeah, I really want to read this book and finish it because I'm really loving it so far. I really love Jem and Will and this these group of characters, and I really want to finish this, but um, I haven't because it's it, it, it. please make me finish this, please. That's your job as a as a watcher of my videos. That's your job. Yeah. Okay. The next one is Throne of Glass by Sarah J. Mass. I just want to read this so that I can say I read it. <laughs> because, like, people recommend this to me. Like, okay, Troy recommends this to me so many t so much, and I'm just like, I know, I want to read this so bad. I just haven't. Um, Katie really enjoyed this. I just think it's gonna be a book for me. Um, I'm really nervous to see, like, what if I don't like it, but, like, literally everyone loves it. Well, not everyone, but, like, it ha it's very controversial. Like, you either hate it or you love it. So, you know. But I am very excited to read this and see what happens. Who's, there's a, there was this boy or someone in the first few chapters I read that I really liked. I might reread the first few chat, first 20 pages, just to remember who that is, but I'm real excited to, to continue this and see what I think. The second to last one is a book that I want to finish because it's so good. That is An Ember in the Ashes by Saba Tahir. This book, this book so far is so good and deeply terrifying and I'd be dead. I would be dead the minute I was born in this world. Not gonna lie. I am absolutely adoring these characters. I'm absolutely adoring this setting and this like everything that's happening. I love this cover too. But I really want to read, I want to finish this book before um, the last one comes out in December. I think it's December. Um, so I'm really hoping I can and I really want to, I want to if I love this book, by the way, if I get this five stars, I want to read Torch before the fourth one comes out. That's a little bit, like, probably not going to happen, but at least this. And if I do finish this, I want to read Torch. Okay, that's all I'm saying. And the last book on this list is none other than The Tyrant's Tomb by Rick Riordan. I read The Burning Maze back in February or March or something. I just want to finish this because everyone's talking about Will and predictions about Will in the next book. And I'm confused. Like, what's the deal with Will? Don't tell me in the comments. Please don't. But, like, he's my child. So, I'm very excited to read this. I really want to see Reyna again because Reyna, she's beautiful. But, yeah, I'm excited. Um, I started this and it was really sad because of what happened in the brain maze. And it was really funny because Meg just wanted to use the bathroom and they were just ignoring her. So that was pretty funny. But I really want to read this and I love this cover. And this is a special edition. So it has a little... Wow. has this. And it's Hazel. And Meg. And Lester. Or Apollo. Um, but yeah. I really want to read this. And I predict it's going to be a 5 star because it's always a 5 star with Rick. Um, and Tower of Nero comes out on October 6th, so I really want to read this in October so that I could possibly read Tower of Nero in For a believe -a Yeah, I'm not going to pick these books up because they're, like, you can't see that. They're, they're not, they're in a pile, which I could easily lift, but, like, one's facing this way, one's facing that way. It's just a whole bunch of mess. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. What are some books that you are hoping to read in October? And, um, 
I want you to comment a... Um, I did this in my last video, but I still want you to do it. A ghost, because it's October. I know I did it in my fall TBR, but whatever. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, and yeah, I post weekly now. I don't know when. I sometimes, I'm going to try and post two times a week, but don't, don't count on that. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you in my next one. Bye!